Mountain Dew, the soda company that keeps on giving. With a long list of wild flavors and a lot of spin-off products, today we're looking back on the 5 flavors Mountain Dew fans want back the most. Starting with Cyclone. Mountain Dew Cyclone was a franchise exclusive being only available at Speedway gas stations. It was released in 2019 and lasted 3 years before being discontinued in 2022. The drink was described as a citrus punch flavor with it often being compared to the Sangrita Blast exclusive from Taco Bell and was known for having a maroon aesthetic. And like all these flavors here, this one has since garnered quite a cult following around it with there being fan petitions online and lots of fan art showing that the Cyclone Dew is still being missed. Besides the occasional random account saying that they spotted it in their local store, there hasn't really been any word on the return of Cyclone. However, it has only been two years. Sticking with the natural disaster names, next up we have Mountain Dew Typhoon. It had a sky blue and purpley can with a tropical punch flavor, with it usually being described as strawberry pineapple. Typhoon was a competitor in the 2010 Duocracy competition, where it was up against two other flavors, Whiteout and Distortion. The voting lasted all the way until October, where it was eventually beaten by Whiteout. And ironically, a fun fact here is that the original name for Typhoon during the early testing was actually Cyclone, but it eventually got renamed before launch for unknown reasons. It was also in competition to have a diet flavor released in 2011, but yet again, it didn't make the cut. But it didn't take long for fan outcry, leaving Mountain Dew to do another promotional event in 2011, where they brought back discontinued flavors for that summer, with Typhoon being one of them. Although it was a Walmart exclusive and was only available in 2 liters, it was still pretty cool that they brought it back. Then, after summer 2011, it was just lost again in the graveyard of Mountain Dew flavors. While in 2013, Taco Bell had a Typhoon and Distortion Freeze for a limited time, it just wasn't the same. Until October 28th, 2021, when a render of a Typhoon can with updated can designs were found on the Pepsi website, leaving people to start wondering what this could mean. It wouldn't be until June of 2022, however, when fans would find out that they were being brought back exclusively on the Dew store for a limited time. There was rumors it would be brought back in 2023 along with some other discontinued flavors, but this proved to be untrue, and now we just have these relics on the internet. Next up we have Mountain Dew Supernova, a bright magenta aesthetic with a strawberry melon flavor and added ginseng. It was first released as a part of the original Duocracy competition in 2007 alongside Voltage and Revolution, and was discontinued in August 2008 when voting ended as we know Voltage became the winner. It wouldn't be until summer of 2011 when the popular by Do Man promotion brought it back for a limited time alongside Typhoon. And while this had American Dew heads already going crazy, this flavor is special as it had several international releases leaving it to have a combined fandom worldwide. In 2013, Canada got their first duocracy promotion with Voltage, Code Red, Whiteout, and Supernova all being competitors. During this time, all these flavors were also available as freeze options in Canadian 7-Elevens, with them eventually being discontinued as the contest wrapped up. However, they brought back the Supernova freeze for a limited time in summer of 2023. While Voltage ultimately won that competition, it didn't stop Canadian Dewheads begging for its return leading to Mountain Dew re-releasing them for a limited time in 2014 through their popular by Dew Man promotion. And finally, a raspberry lemon flavored version of the drink was also released in Finland and Denmark, with Dewheads commonly referring to this version as Euronova. Safe to say, Mountain Dew will definitely have to deal with Supernova fan letters for a long, long time. Next we have Mountain Dew Ultraviolet, the first flavor to be exclusively released as a diet flavor only. And as you can imagine, it had a violet theme, with a mixed berry flavor sometimes being compared to Revolution. It was only released for a 12 week period starting in August of 2009, but due to its popularity, it came back in 2010 through their Fandumonium promotion where they had fans vote on a diet flavor to bring back. Ultraviolet ultimately lost to Diet Supernova, but that doesn't mean it didn't leave many fans upset. With it having online petitions and dedicated fan accounts, it seems for some reason this one holds a special place in many fans hearts. Possibly because Mountain Dew is already known for not having many diet variations of their flavors, so when this released, maybe that portion of their audience really felt seen. Also, it's definitely one of the coolest designs and aesthetic of any Mountain Dew can ever, and it seems fans will just never let this one die. However, there haven't been any ultraviolet updates at all in over a decade. 
But that doesn't mean some people won't remain hopeful. Now, if you're a Mountain Dew fan, you probably already knew this was coming. The most missed Mountain Dew flavor of all time. Pitch Black. Oh yeah, I know this is getting some people going right now. Ever since its initial launch for the 2004 Halloween season, it has had many returns, expanded many countries, and is definitely the sole reason for many white dudes' anger. It has a black and dark purple aesthetic with a black grape flavor in the US and a dark citrus punch flavor elsewhere in the world. Like I said earlier, it was first released in the US in August 2004 to October 2004 for that Halloween season. Its popularity was absolutely bonkers, leaving many stores totally wiped out just a few days after their stock came in. And it wasn't like the Code Red craze they had a few years prior. It was more on par with the Baja Blast craze, if not even worse. This led to Pepsi re-releasing it the following year from August 2005 to November 2005, again for the Halloween season, calling it Pitch Black 2. Everything about it was almost identical, except it had a touch of added sourness due to the surge of sour candies becoming popular around the time. After 2005 though, fans would be left with nothing, all the way until 2011 when it came back with Typhoon and Supernova for that back by popular Man promotion I've been saying a lot. Its next pop up wouldn't be until 2015 when Pepsi decided to do an online sweepstakes from December 3rd to the 5th of that year where 350 random fans were selected each of those 3 days and received a case of pitch black in the mail. The next year in 2016, Mountain Dew did their Decision promotion where they pitted pitch black against Baja Blast in stores, with the winner becoming a permanent addition. This had pitch black stands getting ready to do as much buying and hashtagging as they could and they managed to do it beating out Baja Blast. It would only last until March 2019 though, when some regions started discontinuing it along with many other underperforming flavors, most notably the Game Fuel Citrus Cherry. It was last spotted in 2021, and after this there were no more reports or sightings anywhere of either bottles, cans, or in fountains. Aww. In 2023, it managed to come back yet again for a limited time from January to March, its release was leaked two weeks prior by a now deleted reddit post where OP had claimed that pitch black and zero sugar options were coming back along with some other flavors. They also expanded the pitch black flavor to the also now discontinued Mountain Dew energy line but none of these lasted for super long. The latest US update for pitch black was during the April solar eclipse when they did an online sweepstakes to win a special eclipse version of the drink. I sadly did not win. But it's pretty cool to know that it's still floating around and I can almost guarantee it will be brought back one day. But that's just its story in America. Let's talk about some of its international launches. Canada got their first release during Halloween 2004, the same year it was released in the US. However, unlike the US version, the Canada version was sold without caffeine due to laws preventing caffeine from being added to non-dark soft drinks at the time of its release. It was known as Alert Noir or Black Alert in French. After 19 years of no signs of its return, Mountain Dew Canada confirmed on Instagram that Pitch Black would release first at Circle K on January 15th, 2023. Unlike its 2004 release, this one has caffeine and the name Alert Noir was dropped. It was later confirmed that Pitch Black had joined the lineup as a permanent flavor in Canada. Pitch Black was released in South Korea as Mountain Dew Wild Black for the summer of 2006 to coincide with the Be The Racer promotion. The drink's release used the 2005 era logo, and its label art was similar to that of Pitch Black 2. There's not much currently known about this release, and it was presumably released for only a short time, and likely discontinued sometime in the mid-2000s. Pitch Black was introduced in New Zealand in 2011 alongside Livewire and Electroshock. The New Zealand release was the first version of Pitch Black to use the International Grape Citrus formula, but it was discontinued in 2012, however, and hasn't had any signs of return. In 2013, Pitch Black was released in Malaysia alongside Livewire by Permanus Malaysia, later named Etika Holdings. In 2014, Duocracy Malaysia took place. Livewire, Pitch Black, alongside newcomer Blue Shock were all sold and voted on. Livewire and Pitch Black did eventually lose to Blue Shock. In 2021 though, Pitch Black, in addition to the regular variety, underwent a half diet formula change, with the sugar content being reduced by half and the addition of the artificial sweetener sucralose in order to reduce calories. In 2013, Duocracy Singapore took place. The promotion pitted Pitch Black against Livewire. Pitch Black was announced as the winner in a live event on November 1st, 2013 and became a permanent flavor soon afterward. As of 2021, it is still a current flavor in Singapore. 
In 2014, both Pitch Black and Livewire were released for a limited time of the summer season in the Philippines. Both flavors again returned for the summers of 2015, 2016, and 2017, but other than that, there's not a whole lot of info known about this release. In 2016, Duocracy Pakistan took place, which introduced Pitch Black, Blue Shock, and Livewire into the country. Pitch Black won this competition as well. After the Duocracy, there have not been any other updates for Pitch Black still being available in Pakistan in recent times. However, it appears to have been discontinued as it was last seen shortly after the promotion. From 2005 to 2006, as well as a short stint in 2019, Pitch Black was also released as a freeze option in select 7-Elevens. And throughout the years, it has had many limited franchise releases. I mean a lot. So safe to say this is probably the strongest Mountain Dew flavor that PepsiCo has in its vault somewhere. With it being available all over and with it constantly being brought back and going away, it's really just a matter of time before it's brought back again, right? Although I do think it's pretty funny that it's not currently available in the US, yet Baja Blast is now available all year round. Oh, how the tides have turned. Looking back, we get to see the creative and fun side of a soda company that likes to play with their fans and just have a cool wacky time making flavors. While the biggest question we're all left with is, well, if these flavors are so missed, why aren't they available right now? Well, we can't really do anything for that but hypothesize. Whether it's sales didn't meet expectations, or maybe some ingredients became expensive or hard to find, or maybe they noticed a trend of sales spiking then consistently dying every time they brought it back, whereas something like Baja Blast could have consistent sales all year round, even if the fans aren't as vocal about bringing it back. But hey, that's just a thi- oh shit, wrong show. After all this, what do you think? If you could bring back any of these flavors, what would it be? Or which ones look or sound the best tasting? Well, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hey, if you're still on a nostalgia kick, check out this video I made on some wild 2000 energy drinks. And as always, I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. I really can't believe we're starting to build a little community. It's so freaking cool. And that's all I have for you guys today. Peace.